bison and some chicken breast, a little bit of barbecue sauce, and a protein shake. Good way to start the day. Yeah. Train the muscles, not the joints. Well, welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding, and today let's go to the grocery store to do some shopping. Yeah, I'm just gonna get some zucchini or whatever because I've been eating chicken and zucchini. It's pretty good with a little bit of soy sauce on there. And yeah, let's uh, talk about a subject along the way. Let's talk about something. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? Mountain. Get in, man. Get in. Just get in here, man. Safety first. Put on your seatbelt. Otherwise, this might happen to you. You don't want that. want that to happen to you do you it's kind of hard to train when you're blowing up the smithereens you know what i'm saying you're just in the pieces everywhere you can't really train like that All right, so on the ride, I learned what I want to say today. This is based on somebody just commenting lately. Somebody just made a comment. They said uh, that they've been doing like sets of eight to 12 and uh, they've been doing certain sets or whatever and they keep on getting injured. They feel like nothing is working, but yet they've tried more of the heavy type rep ranges, 555, five, five, I guess that's kind of the impression I got from this person, along with them doing uh, heavier weights and strength training. So here's the thing I want to really impress upon you. And that is if something is injuring you, then that means something needs to change. Uh, sometimes maybe something needs to be fixed. Maybe you need to do some massage therapy. Maybe you need to go see a naturopath. Maybe you need to do something like that. But a lot of times, it's, it's amazing how many times this happens. A lot of times people will continue to do something even though it's not working. And it's actually the technique that they're using that is hurting them, whether it's range of motion or whether it's using too heavy. Now, I've talked about this repeatedly, that a big problem with a lot of people is that they try to fit themselves into the exact same spot as other people. They, they try to pigeonhole themselves in the type of training that works for somebody else or they try to work within a range of motion or a weight or a type of program that only works for 1% of the population or 0.5%, but because they see their favorite YouTuber or some sort of Instagram guy that's full of juice or whatever else is going on, and, and they see that that person trains that way, and then they're like, oh, I gotta train like that too. It's like, listen, I mean, just because something works for somebody else doesn't mean it's gonna work for you, especially when this type of technique is only working for 1% of the population. So you want to make sure that you are training for yourself, training within the guidelines of your own genetics and also your own muscle fiber content, that kind of thing. You want to find out what works for you. It's not about saying, hey, this worked for somebody else that must work for me. Try those techniques out. But if you're getting injured, that's for sure a sign that that's not the type of technique that you should be using. If eight to 12 reps is injuring you, then why not train with 25 reps, 30 reps? Maybe you're one of these people that really grows well from 20 reps to 50 reps. Who knows? You might be one of these people. I'm not one of those people that grows well with 50 reps, but you might be one of them. So this is the whole point. Don't be afraid to conduct that experiment and try for yourself. All right, let's go get an espresso and I got to go to the store and get some zucchini. But yeah, I'll continue talking about this because you know, Again, I mean, I know there are general rules for everybody. There are some general rules that apply to almost everyone. Mountain, mountain. Don't be afraid to experiment. I always say this, but I mean, it's amazing. I, I see people every day where they're like, oh, I, I did the five rep program and I get injured all the time. What am I supposed to do? Training just doesn't work. It's like, no, that type of training doesn't work for you, but maybe a different type of training will work really well for you. So you have to try to play around here. You can't just get stuck and work for Joe Blow over there. Hey, how are you? Good. No Travis again today. Gee, what a surprise. Here's the... There you oh, go. Now you nice. should videotape that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. All right, good stuff. Yeah, see you later. So, yeah, so... Yeah, don't, don't try to... Uh, do exactly the same thing everybody else is doing. Try things and then, then experiment, but don't be surprised. And, and that's the thing, I, I run into people all the time, they're really surprised when they find like a different technique works for them. Like somebody was saying that whole body workouts every day is working really well for them as long as they stick to certain rep ranges and stuff. And I'm like, that's exactly what I'm preaching, man. It's like, don't be afraid to break the structure and find out. Because some people, they need to train a little bit lighter, but more frequently. And then other people need to train heavier and less frequently. And if you do the wrong thing for your body, then you'll notice that it kind of, uh, it, well, it doesn't respond or it resists 
the whole thing and then you don't actually get any results so you want to play around with this and yeah for me doing one rep maxes all the time i mean i saw people die all the time from it i mean and, and here's the other thing okay Here, here's the other thing i gotta say Here, and this is this really grinds my gears as peter griffin would say hey shout out to you will I met a guy named will on playstation the other night and that guy uh man he does the best peter griffin impression it's crazy so i'm gonna try and convince him to do an impression for me and so I can put it on this channel. But anyway, one thing that grinds my gears is somebody will look at somebody that's a, a chemically induced monster and they'll say, this person trains like this and, and they don't get injured. Meanwhile, you've only seen the guy train for five years, 10 years. You haven't seen him train for the good long haul of 20 years. And and uh, and you know we know where some of the big guys that were super strong, that were doing run, one rep maxes all the time, where that life led them and where they are now. I mean, if you look at some of the really famous bodybuilders and powerlifters, there's a few of them that are not living easy lives now based on going super, super heavy all the time. Although there were no signs of any problem or degradation at the time that they were doing it, 10, 15 years as, as you go a long line in your training, there's going to be some signs of wear and tear which are quite destructive. So the truth is, is that as you go about life, you're going to get destruction anyway. There's going to be some wear and tear. I mean, you play sports. Look at me. I played hockey. Messed myself up a few times. Uh, you know, you get car accidents. You get different things that happen in your life. Uh, but do you want to create more trauma on the body? Do you really want to do that to the joints? It's not really necessary. It's already taken enough abuse. You don't need to keep on beating it to death. So. Don't be too impressed by people that are sensationalizing self-destruction. That's what I'm saying. Just because it looks splendid right now doesn't mean 10 years in the future they're gonna look quite so splendid. I mean, so uh, this is the thing. I mean, there are things that some of these power lifters and some of these people that are lifting super large amounts of weight are doing to themselves chemically that are creating an environment that either doesn't allow them to feel the destruction that's going on or uh, there's a certain amount of water retention or a certain amount of protection that's going on in the body that is allowing them to be able to lift that heavy and, and self-destruct uh, over the long haul. Uh, but it doesn't mean systemically that there isn't something much deeper or let's just say more illness inducing going on, right? So it's like a deal with the devil. There's no easy way. There's no easy way in life. You can't take a shortcut. And uh, in the end, you have to develop your own wisdom. And that's, that's really it. A lot of people, they want to shortcut the whole wisdom thing. They want to just basically have the quick, easy rules for bodybuilding, quick, easy rules for finance, quick, easy rules for relationship. But really what it's about is about finding what is perfect for you in any one moment. Cat massage, get rid of the injuries. So many naps in a day, he needs a recovery and only through expanding of your own awareness will this happen and so yeah that's why i'm encouraging you to experiment to try different techniques and to not be surprised if something different is really what's working for you instead of what was sensationalized on youtube or instagram by some idiot i'm not one of those idiots i don't think but apparently some people think i'm one of those idiots so there you go i'm just going to apply idiot generally across the spectrum there all right so <laughs> let's get some zucchini zucchini so i'm no longer teeny is zucchini so I'm no longer teeny mountain So anyway, I hope this helps you out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you need to get hold of me, just go to naturallandbodybuilding.com and take care for now. Oh yeah, and thanks to the Patreon supporters.